In this first technique, we will use a motion blur to create the blurring effect. First, go to the filter menu, select blur, and click on motion blur. The motion blur panel will then appear. Make sure to check the preview option and then begin adjusting its settings. The angle setting determines the direction of the blur. Then set the angle value to zero. The distance setting determines the pixel length of the blur. As you increase its value, the image will blur more. Now set the distance value to 50 pixels and click OK to close the motion blur panel. And you're done with technique one. In the second technique, we will use the path blur within the blur gallery. Go to the filter menu and then select blur gallery and click on path blur. This will then open the blur gallery. Make sure to check the preview option to see your changes as you are making them. The path arrow sets the direction of the blur. Move it in the direction that the person is walking in. What is great about this method is that you can also curve the path if it suits your cutout better. And you can see that I'm doing this at a diagonal with a curve. Now let's adjust the settings of the path blur. The speed slider is the amount of path blur that will be applied to the cutout. Set the speed value to 75. Taper slider sets a blur trail. The higher the number, the more gradual blur it will create. Uncheck center blur and set the taper value to 15. And then click OK to finalize your changes. And now the blur effect will be added and you are done with technique number two. This third technique uses a tilt shift blur within the blur gallery. Go to the filter menu and then select blur gallery and click on tilt shift. This will open the blur gallery. Make sure to check the preview option. Rotate the tilt shift pin 90 degrees so that it becomes vertical. The main area at the center is the part of the image that will remain sharp. Next to that are the areas that will become faded and the areas at the end will be blurred. Adjust the position of the tilt shift so that it covers the part of the image that will remain sharp. Then stretch the fade area of the tilt shift so that it covers the remaining part of the cutout. Set the blur value to 20. and then click OK to finalize your adjustments. And then the tilt shift blur will be added and you are done with the third technique. Let me know which technique was your favorite in the comments below and make sure to subscribe.